was the yeah, town. Yeah. I got my sheet to myself. I, yeah. I, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah, my name's Alan Clements. I'm from Charleston, Maine. Uh, Charleston. I am the owner of a small company called Burroughs Machine Tool Products, which is a precision machine shop. Uh, it's really small. It's, it's kind of like just me. Um, and uh, uh, I also, in, in the last decade or so, I, I probably do a lot more uh, engineering consulting than I do machining. Uh, it's sort of what my customers want, and uh, that's what they pay me for, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I've been at this business a long time. I've been involved in industry all my adult life with some forays into some other uh, areas. Uh, but I, I'm going to talk a little bit. I don't have any written prepared remarks today, but I'll, I'll just speak a little bit about my own personal experience. And uh, before I do that, I want to mention uh, a couple of things about sort of just... Um, corporate housekeeping, that the things that I've noticed that, uh, haven't been said in previous remarks, touched on a little bit, but uh, one is that th this relationship with Bath Iron Work, between Bath Iron Works and its parent, General Dynamics, uh, General Dynamics being a, a, a public company, uh, shareholder-owned company, um, and uh, BIW being a privately held company by General Dynamics, uh, it's in General Dynamics' interest to keep them poor basically, keep them lean and, and on a very, very small margin. And it's not illegal or anything like that. It's, a, it's, a, it's actually, from a corporate point of view, it's a, it's a very beneficial, positive strategy. It works. Um, so it's just a little context that we should not forget. Um, also, um, given the corporate nature of corporations in the United States and our tax structure and so on, uh, BIW is really required to request this tax break. It's, it's because there's a long history in the United States of, of government, uh, state governments and federal governments granting tax gifts, g the generosities of the public, if you will. Um, they were available and General Dynamics and Bath Iron Works would be remiss if they did not try to actually pursue that with a, a, a reasonable, sincere effort. And that's what they're doing. And, and I urge this committee to graciously say, no, thank you. Um, we have other priorities in this state that, that need to be taken care of. Um, you, know, you know, thank you. Come, come again another time. If, we can, if you think we can help you, we'll listen. But, but the answer should be no. Uh, so I also, I urge you to uh, vote ought not to pass on this, this legislation. And I also urge you not to amend it or, or modify it in some way that, that results in some kind of compromise. It's, it's fundamentally flawed. Um, the other thing I want to mention is that in the new tax bill, just passed the federal tax bill, the Trump tax bill, as some call it, um, no one's mentioned it today yet, but uh, for manufacturing, from the manufacturing sector, effective retroactive to September 27th of last year, there is a five-year window of um, complete uh, deduction in, in, in the tax year of a, of a purchase for industrial equipment. And they've expanded the definition to include used equipment, new equipment, all sorts of uh, production lines and complete lines. And uh, I'll just tell you that the engineering world is a buzz. It's big news for people that, that work in the field I work in uh, because it means that there will be investment in, this, in the industrial sector in this country. That's a good thing without getting you know, too much into the whole tax bill. It's really unfortunate the way that that will be funded. You know, it's it's going to be that cost is going to be borne by the middle class, not the not the wealthier uh, tax brackets that got a tax break. So, uh, you know, there's there's all these efforts to to, to push um, the 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 improvement and the development of industrial sector onto the average taxpayer. And this this bill here is no exception to that. Um, if you could so, summar, if you could summarize. Yeah. Uh, so basically, um, I, I just want to say, you know, as, as a person who's worked in industry uh, all my life, my adult life, and, and in, in, in Maine uh, for the last 30 years, uh, you know, the issues of an aging workforce, all these issues that have been raised here, they're not unique to Bath Iron Works or, or General Dynamics. And General Dynamics is in a very favorable, healthy financial position to meet any challenges that come down the road. And who is not, who is much more challenged are small businesses like myself and, you know, up to 100 employees as we, as we define small business. These are the people that we need to be helping if we are going to, if the state of Maine is going to 
uh, use tax policy to help small businesses and industrial and manufacturing businesses, th that's who we need to be helping. The, the, you know, this, this, I'm 58, you know, I'll be around working for another 10 years or something, but, uh, you know, the, 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 the issues are not unique to, to, to Bath Iron Works. So I urge John not to pass thing. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Any questions yeah, from the question. committee? Richard Leatham. Leatham, yeah. Richard Leatham. No, I would, uh, I would, uh, <laughs> I would have done ah. justice to that name. So, good. I'm glad that you did. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Chairman and uh, Taxation <laughs> Committee, for this hearing. It's wonderful to get all this out into the open. Um, I think that. Recently, uh, uh, Senator Angus King uh, and Representative Duchamp, who we've heard today, both play the fear card, which is a very uh, <coughs> unbeneficial in the, uh, the nature of making decisions about long-range uses of our resources and our money. <coughs> it, Pretty obvious from the uh, testimony today from several people that uh, there is no possibility of the uh, Pentagon and the Navy Department uh, abandoning BIW ship building facility. It's there, it's the, written into the long term plan. They, they support both facilities equally to keep them competitive. And so that's, that's false. The second thing that Representative Deschamps based her argument on was that BIW could not afford to upgrade their workforce. And I think that that's very clearly given the backlog of work and the long-term profitability of BIW and the fact that it currently has $2.7 billion of cash and short-term investments on hand doesn't follow that the state needs to subsidize the cost of upgrading the skills of existing workers. I recently heard from a friend in New York City that the city of New York is in Manhattan is uh, in, in the market for new subway cars, thousands of them. And it looks as though Kawasaki is going to get the, the bid. If we're really thinking about long-range benefits for the Maine population, the workforce in Maine, and for our children, grandchildren, this is not the way to go. This kind of corporate welfare for the uh, industrial complex is not the way to go. Sustainable future building uh, industries that we need desperately in this country is in, proven and statistically could create many, many thousands more jobs than the industrial, uh, military industrial complex creates. So in closing, I would I urge all of you to really look deeply into the, the wisdom of this bill and reject it. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? Seeing none, I thank